guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing and showing you swatches on the new nude Huda Beauty palette. It is absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, let's just hope the actual eyeshadow inside lives up to the gorgeous front cover because it'd be a shame if it doesn't. So yeah, let's jump straight into swatches and we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the new nude palette by Huda Beauty. As you can see, it's absolutely stunning. Um, it comes with the standard sort of eye look she always puts in there just to protect the eyeshadows. Gorgeous photo. Um, so yeah, let's have a look inside. So these are the colours. As you can see, they are absolutely stunning. Um, it comes with a gorgeous big mirror, as you can see. Um, so yeah, let's go straight into the swatches. I'm going to go row by row. So I'll probably go from the top here, going across, and then vice versa. So, let's get swatching. Taking the first colour called Bear. Um, it is a very, very pale sort of nude colour, so it may not show up that well on my arm. But that is it there. And then taking the gold pearlescent one called Crave. I'm just going to place that next to it. That is Crave. Gorgeous gold colour there. And then taking a peachy toned one called Play. Really gorgeous peach. Then taking the colour Love Bite. Taking the colour Love Bite. Nice mauve. And then taking the colour, taking the colour Spanked. So that is the top row there for you. Taking the second row. First one in the second row is called Lace, which is a really gorgeous lilac colour. That is Lace. Next, that is a pearlescent lilac called Daydream. Stunning colour. That is Daydream. Gorgeous. Next up, we have the colour Tickle. which is a gorgeous pink toned colour. Then we have two glitters. So the first one is called Excite. Oh, even that went on really nice. So that's Excite. The next one we have the second glitter called Infatuated. That's also a really nice glitter. And then lastly on that row is a shimmer called Kinky. Which is just there. So that is the top and second row, just there. Okay, so last row. The first one is a concealer, so it's not really going to show up well on my arm. This just acts as a eyeshadow base and also when you cut your crease. This one is Secret. And then next one after that is Tease. That is Tease there. And then we have the colour Raw. Just then. And another pearlescent colour. This is the colour Charmed. Because it's so so creamy, these new pearl formulas. So lovely to put on. And lastly, we have Teddy. There we go. So that there is the whole swatches. And my arm is going dead. Ah. So yeah. God, these two glitters are stunning. So yeah, let me know your thoughts if you've got a favourite colour down below. And let's go straight into the tutorial. 
Okay, so I'm just going to do my brows. I'll be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Soft Brown. Normally, let's take it on a small angled brush. This one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. So I just literally like to brush the hairs up. And just do small gentle strokes. Spectrum B06 brush. I'm going to be dipping into the shade Lace, which is this really nice lilac colour. And then taking the colour Secret here, I'm just going to be blending this also into the crease. And taking my Smashbox blender brush, I'm not sure what the name of this one is. I got this, oh my god, it must be years ago, Vista Village. Had a whole Christmas pack for like £30, I think it was. So I got a whole set, which was lovely. But unfortunately, I mean, they were on the brush and they've just worn off, or they never were on there. Can't really remember, but it's a really lovely, sort of dense blending brush. I just like to sort of smooth those edges out. So, taking my Spectrum A12, which is like a smudger brush, I'm going to be dipping into the colours Love Bite and also Spanked, sort of going between the two. So, I'm just literally pressing this into the outer corners of my eye. And also, we'll be doing the same for the inner corner of my eye. And feathering it into the centre and also just above where I've kept that middle bit clear, like so. Okay, so you should have something similar to this. Um, so now I'm going to be taking my MAC 247, which is a nice flat brush, and I'm going to be going into the shade Crave, which is this pressed pearl gold one just here. So I want to go just straight down the centre of my lid, like so. It's such a pretty colour. Perfect. And then taking my small finger, I'm going to be dipping into the colour Daydream just here. So literally putting it on my small finger and I just want to press it next to the gold either side. So I just want to go just there and also in the inner side. So it should be just something like that at the moment. So taking that 247, which is a flat one that we had the gold on, I'm just literally going to be pressing and feathering it in to each other, like so. And then going back with the Spectrum A12, that sort of small smudge, smudger brush, I'm just again pushing that Love Bite and Spank just again into Daydream so it all kind of blends in beautifully. These colours blend like an absolute dream. So far, no complaints. And what I love the most as well is the um, the pressed pearls. I thought they'd be quite chunky. And they're actually not. They're really soft and just really workable, glittery, shimmery shadows. Yeah, so far, no complaints. 
Right, so I'm going to be doing my liner. So I'll be taking, I always, I hope I say this right. You know, you just never know when the products have just got all these funky names, you just never know. So Il Masca, I'm going to go with that, hopefully. Um, the Precision Gel Liner. I actually picked this up at TK Maxx. I want to say it retails normally for like £21. I've got this for like £7. No complaints either. Like, it's probably one of my favourite ones I've ever used. I mean, I like Maybelline's, but this one, I don't know what it is, it's just so black. I just love it. So I'm taking a Morphe angled brush. I want to say it's M160. It's quite used, so it's quite hard to tell. Um, I'm just going to be running this along my lash line and then pulling up for a wing because I always have to put a finger here. Don't ask me why, I always do. <laughs> so literally just run that along my lash line first. Okay, so once that's all on, I've already added on some individual lashes. I normally use the Ardell individual one, so I've already got about four, I think, on each eye. Um, so I'm going to be coating them in my new favourite mascara, Maybelline Sensational. Is it Sensational? Yes, Lash Sensational. As it is sensational. So just want to really coat the lashes. Always makes you laugh when you see everyone's mascara faces. Can't have them in your mouth open, can you catch your flies? Ugh. So I like to get right up at the room and really wiggle that through the mid lamps and ends. So once you're lashed up, we are going to be dipping back into the colour Crave, which is this gorgeous gold one on my Spectrum A16. I just want to be putting this just underneath the brow bone just here and just lightly feathering it in the rest of my colours and taking my, again, Smashbox Unknown brush, just going to blend that both in together. I'm going to be also adding that same colour Crave in to the inner corner, just to brighten that up. Like so. Yeah, quite happy with that. So let's do the under eye. So taking my Spectrum A12, I'm going to be going into the colour Lace and also Spanked. Just a smudge out and smoke out that lower lash line. So I literally just want to tuck it right underneath my lashes. And then going back into that unknown Smashbox one, just wiggling that just to soften any harsh lines left there. And taking that, taking the MAC 247, I'm going to be putting the colour Crave on there. That's that nice gold one that we use. And I'm just going to pop this just in the centre underneath. Like so. I might take it on a smaller brush to be fair. Spectrum A16, taking the colour Crave. Uh, I'm just going to be putting that just underneath here. Coating my lashes with the Lash Sensational one by Maybelline. Just going to coat my lower bottom lashes. Like so. Okay, so you should have something similar to this. Some nice sort of iridescent gold mauve colours. Um, I can hardly say that I absolutely loved using this palette and I cannot wait to create some more looks with this.
So final thoughts on the new nude palette by Huda Beauty. It is a thumbs up from me. I can simply say it is stunning. The actual pearl shades, which are these really cool sort of sparkly ones, I thought were going to be a bit gritty, but in actual fact they're so soft and I cannot wait to create more looks of this palette. So yeah, that is definitely going to be used in my kit for sure. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed this eye look. So please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below if you're going to be getting this palette. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It means so much to me and also be a great help. And until next time, I shall see you soon. Bye guys.